Whether you're restoring old weights, or you're just trying to make your weights look a little bit better, or maybe you're trying to make those weights that you picked up on the cheap sell for just a little bit higher on the used market, I'm talking to you weight flippers. This video is for you because this is an easy way to improve the look of your weight plates, and that's by using paint pens to letter and number them. I'm going to go through a trial with three different paint pens on my new set of Jackson barbell plates. And I shouldn't really say new, they're very old, but new to me because the 45s, they had their lettering and numbering painted, but the rest didn't. The 35s, 25s, 10s, 5s, 2.5, they were just plain old black paint over the whole thing. So I'm going to try paint pens from three different companies and I'm going to see which one works the best. There's one paint pen that is acrylic rather than oil, so I'm a little suspect of that one. The other two are oil-based. The reason why I'm a little suspect, and I prefer the oil-based paint pens, is that, at least in my experience with paint pens thus far, the oil-based paint pens have held up a little better. They've prevented chips a little better. Before we go to the trial, just a little shout out for the merch, that if you like the lift and you like history, you can support my channel by picking up a lift history t-shirt. Now let's see how these paint pens performed. This first paint pen is from Posca, P-O-S-C-A. They have a variety of colors, and I believe this is not oil-based. This Posca pens are acrylic. You'll see I'm working counterclockwise because I am right-handed. I rest my hand on the outer rim and then sometimes on the hub. That way, even if I have to backtrack a little bit, like you'll see me do in just a second, I'm hovering over the recently painted letters. This particular paint pen dries very fast. It goes on fairly thick as well. And for this first pass, for all of these pens, keep in mind that it's not going to be perfect. So don't strive for perfection on this first pass. What I ended up doing sometimes when I tried, like I am right now, to go back and make it look a little better was that I ended up making mistakes. I ended up adding too much of the paint in a certain spot. It was pooling up, or maybe I hit the sides of the letters, which I didn't want to do. Now, the other thing that I realized was to wipe down the plates before using the paint pen, you'd think that would be pretty obvious, but my plates look pretty clean. You don't notice how dirty the weight plates are until you start using a white paint pen. Okay, moving on. This is a Sharpie brand, oil-based paint pen, and look at that. I mean, it is really tough to get decent coverage with it. There's a lot of streaks and even if you can see, I'm trying to like dab it on the letter C here. I made a little mistake and you could keep a cloth, but when I tried to use a cloth to wipe up mistakes, I was wiping paint all over the place. So I found that just using my finger and then wiping my finger on a cloth that I had to my right, there I go again, making a little mistake, was quicker and more efficient. That's just my personal preference. But as far as the Sharpie, this was not a good first impression. I immediately thought, oh my gosh, even if I set aside perfection, I have a lot of work to do here. This is going to take a lot of coats of paint. Now with both the Posca and the Sharpie, something that I realized was that I would have to turn it in my hand and that helped a lot. So once it started to get a little thin, I would turn it and that way I didn't have to go and punch it again. Okay, on to the third pen. This is the Overseas brand, oil-based paint pen, and it impressed from the start. Look at how thick it goes on, how even it is. I mean, you can still see on this first coat some streaks, but it's just quick. And unlike the Posca, it's an oil-based pen. So you get all the benefits of oil-based paint with the seemingly 
thickness and quick coat and quick drying of the Posca acrylic based pen. As I work my way around, you'll see that this is sped up, but I did generally move fairly fast on that first pass. So now let's look at them from left to right. And just from a distance, from two feet up in the air, they look pretty good. Maybe you could just stop after one coat. But when you get closer, you can see we need a second coat. So the Posca, see on the A there, and on the N, letter N, there's some streaks that need addressed. The Sharpie, my goodness, you definitely need another coat with the Sharpie. For some reason around the lead pockets really needed some attention. And then the overseas, you can see on the K and then down here on the lead pockets that th it needs another coat as well. So let's take a look at the second coat. So coming in with the second pass, one of the things I would advise is to really be gentle. Be soft in the way that you approach it. Otherwise, what I experienced and what you'll see happening here sometimes is that you'll actually lift up, even though it seems dry and there was a couple hours in between these coats, you'll lift up that first coat with the second coat. And that happened with all three pens. So you want to come to the second pass with a nice, gentle approach, really painting it more than drawing or writing it on there. The Sharpie, my goodness, still continued to be problematic. It was lifting up the first pass even easier than the Posca did, and it was just really tough. I had to keep blotting it on the paper to just get it really saturated, and then you can see me there trying to blot it onto the actual letter. So with the Posca and with the next one, the Overseas, I really didn't need to blot it and you know, saturate the felt tip that often. You'll see that as I go around here, I'm not reaching down to that paper that often. I think I just did right before the letter S. So with Jackson, I got through J-A-C-K, four letters before I even had to get the felt tip reapplied. Now, as I come around, this is looking like the winner right away. I mean, I hope you don't jump off of the video now, but look how good this looks. So on the second pass, the big thing that I'm focusing on would be the lines. When you go around the edges, that's where you strive for perfection is getting those smooth edges, getting the lines to look really good. So now let's go back through. This is after the second pass has dried and still a little splotchy. We're going to need a third coat when it comes to the Posca. The other thing about the Posca that's not coming through in the video that well is that it looked a little uh, chalky, if you will. The other two, the Sharpie and the Overseas oil paint pens, both had at least what I would call a semi-gloss sort of finish if I were comparing it to like spray paint. I'm just going to shove the 25-pounder uh, out of the way because the Sharpie is the clear loser here. These two are the winners. Now, to put them through their paces, we're going to do a third coat, and I'll do a third coat of the Sharpie as well, and then we'll take a look and see who is the best. So between these three paint pens, it's pretty clear that Sharpie did the worst. The best, though, comes down to Posca versus Overseas. For the plates behind me, the top one is the one that's done with Posca versus this bottom 35 that was done with the Overseas. So you have the acrylic versus the oil-based pen. Performance-wise, they performed about the same, a little bit of an edge towards the Overseas. In terms of the final product, personally, I think the Overseas looks better. It has a bit of a semi-gloss on it. It looks like it's gonna hold up better for chips and things around the gym as I use these plates as my daily drivers. I just think it's better looking than the flat kind of appearance of the Posca. And it performs just as well, so why not? So I suggest going with the overseas. Now these are fairly large letters and numbers. What about on smaller plates like change plates? Well, take a look. When it comes to these change plates, I use the same paint pen, but I'm not going to lie. There were times that it didn't go that well. 
So I did pick up something from Sharpie that I would suggest. Take a look. Maybe you don't care to do this. Maybe your change plates look good enough, but it, my two cents is that if you've come this far, if you've spent the time to letter and number your plates and you get a little bit of you know, spillage, there's just a, a little too much paint flown over the letters or the numbers, then you might as well just pick up one of these extra fine point Sharpie paint pens. And it's not a regular Sharpie, by the way, it's a Sharpie paint pen. I'll drop a link in the description. And it didn't take long. I mean, it took less than maybe two minutes to just touch up the letters and numbers on my change plates and just make them look that much better. So the Fine Point Black Sharpie is really good for touching up your work, especially if it's a black plate that you're putting the lettering on, and that will give it that meticulous, fine touch to really finish it. However, it is possible to use the medium tip overseas pens, which at least on Amazon, that's the only size that they have available. This is a multicolor pack that's available, or you can buy the overseas paint pens in individuals or in pairs. And what I realized was, if you use them immediately for the smaller font, even though that seems a little bit more intimidating, you can accomplish a really nice looking lettering and numbering. This plate was done completely with just a medium tip, and I didn't have the gray paint as a way to back it up or make it look better. I hope all this advice is useful and that you're able to go out there and make your weights look just the way you want them, no matter what the color is or no matter what the case might be, whether you're reselling plates or whether you're just making your plates look better in your own home gym. If you use my Amazon link to purchase the overseas paint pens or anything else, literally anything, you can buy a tennis racket, you can buy a pair of shoes, as long as you click through my Amazon link, it's going to roll a couple pennies back my way and help support my channel. And I really appreciate that. It's like dropping a tip on the table after having a great meal. So I hope some of this information is useful for you. Please like, subscribe, and all that happy stuff. Thanks for watching. Now I can't help it that I'm custom made. I can't help it that I look good, smell good, Woo! can't dance all night long. I can't help it. Hey everyone, come and see how good I look.